Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you my nail care routine. This is my first official nail video, so I thought I'd start it off with my own at-home mani. I love doing this at least once a week just to keep my nails looking fresh and healthy, so I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so I like to start off by just removing any old nail polish. This is the Beauty Secrets Acetone. It's nail polish remover, but it's not the 100% formula, which is really harsh on your nails. This is a lot softer and it's actually nourishing. So I'm just gonna take a cotton ball and remove any old nail polish. So for step two, I'm just going to brighten, whiten, and clean my nails with this 5-minute effervescent nail cleaner. Now all I do is just take a scoop into a bowl of water and you dip your nails in there for about 5 minutes. It's going to remove any stains, especially if you wear like red nail polish or just black. You know how it tends to stain them? This stuff is amazing for that and I'm just going to scrub them just to make sure I get rid of the extra polish as well. Next, I'm just going to remove and push back the cuticles. I'm taking this Blue Cross cuticle remover. It's like a product that's been around for a really long time, but it really works very effectively removing your cuticles. Um, so I just take a cuticle stick and just push them back first, and then I just take my cuticle scissors and just start to clip off all the excess um, cuticle. That way I have a nice clean base for my nail polish. And I'm also here just taking the other tip and removing any dirt from underneath my nails. Step four is file and shape. Um, I'm starting off with this file, which actually I really liked it at first. I bought it at Old Navy, but it kind of tends to wear off really fast, but I'm just going to shape my nails. I used to like them squared off, but I actually prefer them rounded off because it makes my hands look a lot more feminine. And I'm also going to buff away any shine so I can get them ready for the nail polish. So now step five is painting my nails. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna begin by taking Nail Tech and it's a formula that's great for fingernails that are really brittle or if you need to fill in any ridges, which is what I'm doing. So I have a nice base, um, even top a layer for my skin for my nail polish to go on very smoothly. Now the nail polish that I've been loving is called Wicked. It's from Essie and it's this really dark sort of burgundy color, almost black if you do two coats. It's beautiful. I love it for fall. And I'm just going to start off by doing my first coat. And as you can see here, I like to start off in the center and just bring it upwards and then do two strokes on the sides just to fill it in. And after I do my first layer, which is what I'm doing here, I'm gonna go back and do a second layer the same way. Step six is cleaning up the edges. I'm just gonna take some acetone into a small little cup and I'm taking a synthetic flat shader brush. It's just an old eyeshadow brush. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges. I like to start off and attempt to do a really good job the first time so I don't have a lot of nail polish to clean. But if you make any mistakes, it's totally fine. I just like to go back with some acetone and clean up the edges so it appears to be really nice and perfect. Now the last step is to apply the No Chips Ahead. This is just a top coat from Essie. It's the first time that I'm trying it out. 
Um, so far, out of five stars, um, I feel like I want to give it a four. It's not my favorite top coat, but it really does not, I mean, it works. It doesn't chip your nails, um, so your manicure lasts a lot longer. So I'm just going to do one coat of this, and then I'm going to move on to step seven, which is moisturize the cuticles. Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. My favorite product, it's called California Mango Mend, and... It smells really good and I love using it for my cuticles, also for a lip balm or for my elbows because it just, it works really great if you have excessively dry skin. So I'm just going to apply this to my cuticles and the cuticles are really important. It's just going to make your manicure look a lot better so you have to make sure that you take care of them. So I'm just going to rub this onto my cuticles. Last but not least, my last step is my hand lotion. This is from um, the True Blue Spa Collection at Bath & Body Works. And I'm just going to moisturize my hands just to finish it off. And that's pretty much it. That's all I did to keep my manicure and my hands looking good all week. And thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my blog for more pictures and information. All that is going to be linked down below. Bye!